Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP blog and now guys, we are going to see that how to view our added posts in our HTML table guys. So as we have seen that in previous video, we just inserted all the records of post and now we will begin with view post. So let's click on this guys and here is a page name. So let's create a file with the name viewpost.php. So paste and here. So yep let's include the header and footer let's go to our category view and just copy the code for header and footer all set guys done and let's change the heading from view category to view post copy and paste this view so post add.php all set let's save and refresh guys perfect so we have got the output and now let us what do we say design the html table so let's begin with table responsive i mean dot table responsive table dot table dot table bordered with table stripe striped okay so table head table row table heading one is id then name and what else data can we show name and you can show the image and status okay so let's tell image and your status and then guys one is for edit and as usual one is for delete done and now let's begin with table body table body table row and your table data now guys we need to fetch our table records so over here let's begin with the php code open php close php let's type the query guys that is this is our post data so let's select all the fields from our table name so the table name is posts let's select this post where i want to add where condition because i want to give a delete option as two okay so where status is not equal to two then only you have to fetch all the records okay so let's give post run is equal to mysqli underscore query first your database connection and then your post is your query guys all set so now guys let's check this with the help of if condition if record exists or not at least one record so you can just count with the number of rows function if it is greater than zero then please echo the record else you should show that no record found so you can just divide the php where let's copy this and show inside it all set so now guys you can see that 3 plus 3 6 record is there I mean line so you can add a call span is equal to 6 okay until no record found done if record found then you have to use a for each loop to loop the data so let's post result or run now as dollar post okay so this post record you are going to view with the dividing php let's control x and paste it over here all set guys now with this help of post variable you'll fetch and show using php open and close where post of so first we are taking id then name and then your image guys and a simple status status where we will use ternary operator when status is equal to one as 
hidden one is equal to hidden and zero is equal to visible all set and finally guys we need one table data for the edit and delete so let's create one a tag over here let's give edit create a class name is equal to button button success all set and over here you can tell post hyphen edit dot php you can add a question mark id is equal to which you are sending a parameter to your url with id inside okay so let's select the id and send it all set okay and one delete button guys so you can just let's copy and paste this so we don't need to send any id inside this so you just need to this will be the danger and for deleting process we will see in delete video guys so let me just keep as null over here okay let's save and now let's see the output so refresh yep so you can see guys id number one php insert data this is your post and this visible is status is visible so status is zero done refresh and now guys let's fetch the image so let's call the path over here let me just divide this img tag where src is equal to and we i want to give this width is equal to a 60 pixel and hight height also let me make it to 60 pixel guys done and now let's call the path so my path is right now i'm in admin folder so let's go one step back okay so one step back and then move to your uploads folder then move to your post folder and then your random image name so so let's copy this copy and paste here that's it so now guys let's take this minimize this let's take this under your image path paste it that's it guys so now let's refresh and check perfect so image is visible guys so now guys if you want to show the category data so you need to just write some simple query over here so let me just show you okay so after name let's give the category data over here so this will be the category and over here we will write this as c name so before writing it let me just write the query over here so guys let's comment this and let's copy and paste once again so this is for the backup guys for the reference and now over here we will check out so first one is your post table comma and then your category table so let's get our category table name so let me just copy this categories okay now guys we will assign this post as p and category as c okay so yep let's get back where i want to select all the post values all the data okay p dot star give comma and then i want to select from the categories table i just want to select with the name i just want to show the name so let's make this name category name as let me make it capital all the query will be the dot c name okay so this will be the c name so let's copy this and paste here and paste c name and now guys you need to check one more condition where post id and your category id should be equal then only you can show the name or else it will throw an error so guys for that let's tell p i mean your category dot id so category dot id should be equal to what from your table dot category underscore id okay so this category underscore id is nothing but your from your post table you have stored your category id right so from the category id to your post id should be equal then it will show your output as the c name that is your category name so now guys let's save and you can refresh okay still it's throwing an error it's telling mysql access parameter okay so let me just check out 
okay whoops we have given two condition right where your this one is one is your this condition and one is this condition if you required you can keep this or else you can just remove that because we are going to delete permanently post data so let's ignore this part guys we are just going to remove that save and refresh cool so you can see that guys that php category is from your category data let me just show you in next tab okay so this is your php now guys let's insert with the another table that is your html so over here html html syntax copy this html syntax and some random digit html syntax let me just copy and paste for random data let's copy this and if you want to select the image let's select with php tutorial itself let's paste and yep let's select the category first guys html save post and you can see post created successfully let's go back and you can see guys html syntax your category comes under html perfect guys so guys we have successfully seen that how to fetch the blog post with the relationship of your categories okay so this is the simple code guys and now guys let's continue in next video to edit and update the record so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share